thing. Look at that. See, we're going and now we're ready to go here. Uh, this uh, meeting is being live streamed, it says, and it should be recorded as well. Uh, lead meeting. Okay, wait a minute. They, they, they've they got some new stuff here on uh, on uh, on um, uh, what is it? Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> oh my Zoom. It's too late at night for me to start a show. Uh, anyway, how are you, everybody? Let me just check a few things here, make sure we are recording this. Uh, yeah, right down here. Go to Zoom. And is it recording right now? Uh, it looks like it probably is. Yes, it is. Okay. All righty. All righty. We're, we're going just fine. There are a lot of people ready to go here. This is our little New Year thing we do where we don't do a show on Monday tomorrow, but we're going to do it tonight and do it on uh, New Year's Eve and uh, spend it together with some of the people from the Monday show and also some of the people from the Ramble all coming together in one place. And uh, this should be fun. And we have a lot of people waiting to go on, a nice compendium of people. All right. So let's uh, let's do it. Okay. All righty. Uh, and in case anybody wants to know, we're going out over Facebook tonight as opposed to YouTube. There she is. There's Mandy O'Brien. Happy New Year, Mandy. Happy New Year. You're not doing anything on New Year, or are you doing something on New Year? But you're, well, of course, uh, yeah. Are you? Because you're the same. Uh, no, I'm just sitting here watching TV. That's it? That's it. I thought what you'd be out. Do? I thought you'd be out. Whoop -dee well, I have my friend here, but. <laughs> okay. So we're just sitting here watching TV. Sitting there watching TV. What are you watching? Well, I was watching. Um, I'm not even going to say what I was watching. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> what it's too embarrassing. What is it? Come on. It was, I recorded this show. Um, it, it was on the E channel, you mm -hmm. know, the e entertainment channel yeah mm -hmm. I thought this will be some mindless entertainment and i kind of watched it some and then i went and binged it house of villains <laughs> house of villains what is that it was kind of like a big brother show it had a big brother um you know it was like that kind of competition but it was people from reality shows that were the villains like omarosa was on it and okay. uh, I'm getting ready to say shame on you, but I know, <laughs> I know. I can't look, I hey, look, you know, I've got, I've got my my shows that I watch that people go, what? Like my bit, my my go to show, my guilty pleasure is mm -hmm. below deck Mediterranean. See, OK, see, the thing it, the thing that got me to watch this show is because of my guilty pleasure, which is Vanderpump Rules. And it was the dude that was on the like original. He's not on the show anymore, but yeah. he was originally on it and he was on the show, but he got voted out the first week. But that's why I kind of quit watching it. But then I went back to it and it actually was funny. It made me laugh. Okay. I know. I know. But you get, you're welcome to guilty pleasures. I used to have a guilty <laughs> pleasure once that I didn't want to admit to. And I finally did. And it was that I thought Linda Blair was hot. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and uh, we wound up going out on a date together, oddly. Did enough. you really? Yes, yes, yes. That's cool. Because we're Halle Berry's hot. A, huh? <laughs> so Halle Berry's hot. It works for you if it worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> he can join us if he wants to. By the way. You know. he's a, oh, no, he said no thanks. Okay. And by no the thanks. way, we have uh, Charlene Solis, who is here. Solus, 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 and she is uh, uh, down there in. Uh, let me see again, down near San Jose, right? Oh, Castro anyway. Valley. Castro Valley. Well, that's close, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, yeah, close. Yeah, about twenty yeah. miles away. Yeah, uh, Charlie's here. Hey. Hi, Charlie. Uh, uh, I'd ask you what you're doing for New Year, but, <laughs> but you know. what everybody here is doing for New Year. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Wait a minute. Here's, an, here's a person 
whose name doesn't. Hmm. <laughs> oh God! Doesn't man. ring a bell. <laughs> Frankie Stero. Uh oh. Ay, 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 ay. See, because I don't, I don't have the situation where I'm using the, uh, the switcher and I can just turn it off, you know. But well, let's just. Hmm, hmm. No, you don't. You don't want to burn Mandy's virgin eyes with the stuff. <laughs> Well, that what I'm thinking is, if I if I go to it, if I go to it, uh, and I if he doesn't immediately say hello, I know he's trying to get something going. He Does or she? Off all the huh? cameras. It could be a she. Don't yeah. be sick. Oh yeah, right. Can you yeah. turn off all the camera feed? Well, and... he hung up anyway. Oh, he hung okay. up anyway. Okay. You were on to him. I don't want somebody ruining my new year for crying out loud. That's right. Let's see here. Um, our old friend. Oh God. I was I, I I was waiting for you to call tonight because I knew you'd be wearing something outrageous. This is Edward Berger, ladies That's and gentlemen. That's right. That's <laughs> right. So what what do you well again? This is a stupid question to ask. What are you doing? Well, I went to the cheesecake factory today, so that was something. You did oh, okay, okay. We did a tiramisu cake from Citadella. That's oh good. my god, uh, that's my favorite. Uh, uh, yeah, really good, really good. Um, and Marjorie sent out for some sushi from uh, 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 what, what, what's the name of the place up in um, oh god, oh my mind is just blown. Well, anyway, we got some, we got some sushi and uh. She also bought me two steaks that I can cook in the next couple of days. Uh, hello, Phil. Hi, how are you? Hey, Phil. Uh, it's it's uh, yeah, yeah. Phil. Oh my God! Last time he oh he's mad at me. I don't know why. Why would I be mad at you? Because I had you in a group chat and you said oh. something bad and you hung up on us and you disconnected from our chat. I didn't chat. say anything bad. I just said, uh, you okay. know, I, it's, it uh -oh. was stupid. So uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, I, I, I bowed I'm just, out. I'm, I'm oh. having trouble with my camera. Oh. And I was, if I find, if I turn it off, see now it's frozen. Now yeah. if I turn it off and I turn it back on. Will it work? Okay. There we go. Yeah. See, see. So I, I was in Reno and I saw the Roost Crisps, whatever Chris Roost thing oh, they have Chris, house yeah. there. And yeah. I took a picture and said, you know, should I tell him I know you and and Phil mm -hmm. I, and understandably now because I know the situation, but Phil was not in a good mood at that moment and said blah 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 and then disconnected from our group. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah he's, I, had, um... he's had a, a He's had a tough week, but yeah. His his secretary filled them in after after Phil left. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, uh, somebody Welcome threw a rat through uh, my Let's door. Let's just say this is a group of people who have nothing to do on New Year Eve. New Year, is it? Do we? I'm, I'm going Eve? out. I'm huh? going out. And I got to pick up my friend, and we're going out. Where are you going to go? My friend's deep. My friend's from Vegas. He's up here DJing, so I'm picking him up, and we go to his his gig tonight. You see, I mean, I understand this because this is, uh, um, uh, you know, you're out in California, mm -hmm. so you're not, you know, it's just what it's eight thirty eight, eight thirty, right? Up out of the shower, right? Ready so, to go. And uh, we got I twenty. We got awake. twenty minutes till New Year. Well, I, yes, I can't stay awake until nine o'clock. Is is it for me? Uh, you know, I've, I haven't made a new year. Marjorie year. isn't here because she couldn't stay awake. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm gonna be short. Uh, I don't know if I can hang. Well, this may wind up being a short show just because of the nature of it, but uh, we uh, it, it, that's loyalty. Thank you, Mandy. I appreciate it. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Was that wasn't your football team playing last year? Was that last year or the year yeah. before? No, it was last year. Last it was, year, but they played last night, of course, to. In the Orange Bowl and blew out Florida oh, State. You know we we haven't seen. Let's take a look at your Christmas tree. Just show us. There we go. Wow. There, very nice tree. A gnome on top of it. A gnome. A gnome. Oh, yeah. Is that a real tree? No, it's fake. Oh, okay. That's why it's so nice and perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
And then we uh, we say hello to Alan. Hello, Alan. I said hello to Alan. And look who's here. Tom Yamaguchi. Hello, Tom. Hey. I'm ready to toast the new year. Oh, really? I, I We have champagne here, but I didn't go get it because I, I don't know how to uncork it. But I do have... I have the I have, same thing. I cork it. You pull the I cork have, out and then I have cork. I have this. Does that count? Sure. What is it? Ice. Oh, and you're trying to hold something up, but it, it, it Phil, but it's it's being okay. blocked out by your green screen or something. Uh, yeah, no green screen tonight. I I'm not allowed to lift more than 15 pounds, so oh, I didn't I want a chance a uh, hurting myself. Oh yeah, you had a hernia operation. Right. Yeah, yeah. How how much how much recovery is there on that? Uh, well, uh, the major part of it is uh, a week or two. Uh, the balance of it will be about eight weeks. Yeah. But are you in pain or is it okay now? Uh, I'm stiff. I'm bruised. I'm black and blue. I'm, uh, you know, it, it, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, hey, it, it hurt enough that I got on the show. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm doing the show with a toothache. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Somehow, I, I don't know if, if it's a toothache or I threw something out of whack. I woke up the other morning, my face down in the pillow. And my tooth hurting like crazy, crazy, but also my lower lip had a kind of sore on. And I think I may have just pushed it out of whack a little bit, but I, I don't did, know. Was Marjorie's handprint in the pillow? And no, no right. <laughs> kind of, yeah. So anyway, so I've had this, I had a horrible toothache, but I, I did some uh, ibuprofen and that seems to be taking care of it, you know? So yeah. I had, but I have a dental appointment on Monday because I have to have be fitted for my uh, 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 implant crown. And um, I just may have to say, while I'm here, you know, this thing's been killing me. So I may be getting, I may be in there for hours for all I know, you know. Yeah, let them know because they might not have scheduled enough time to. Uh, well, I'm going to let them know in the morning that yeah. I'm uh, I'm coming in. But I also have a problem with one of my teeth as well. I have had a toothache over the uh, over the weekend, or what I think might be a toothache, and then you know, uh, I hope we can make enough time because I need to have it worked on. I you know, whatever it is is painful to me, but it could have just been it got whacked out of shape by being face down in the pillow, you know, but because it wasn't it wasn't bothering me before, so hmm. yeah, whatever. I have. Um, if it isn't one thing, it's another. Okay, you know. So anyway, uh, you know, I guess what you do when you do a program like this, you you throw out questions about you know the best this or the best that or the whatever. So let's start with um, the best movie of the year. Of the year, Mandy. What's uh, your favorite movie this year? What was my favorite movie? Uh, leave the World Behind. I, leave the, I thought the Leave the World Behind was good. I yeah, think... yeah. Everybody, everybody is saying that. But I'll never buy a Tesla now. Oh, no. I know. That creeped me out so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in, in case people don't know, in the movie, it's about, I guess, the world kind of losing all its ability to hook up to the internet and to use things and so on and so forth. And actually, uh, it's about foreign countries hacking into our information structure and blowing it all to pieces. But also themselves, I think, as well. I mean, it's just affecting the whole world. But the thing with the with the Teslas was they're all automatically driven if you want them to be. And it decides to all automatically wind up in one place. Yeah, all of a sudden there are these cars oh. careening out in the but this the whole movie they're all driverless cars, so they're driving. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, it's it's I I I, I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, my sister on Christmas, my sister was like telling me stuff she read about it, how it was supposed to have all this some symbolism or messages, like the the ship, how it was called the White Lion, which was that was the ship that brought slaves over. 
um what was some of the other stuff that um like the the at the end i, mean, I don't want to spoil it for people but at i don't know if y'all any of y'all have watched it but at the well, end so in, in case people don't don't haven't seen it it's on it's on netflix, it's netflix. Right? It's on on netflix. netflix. i watch it on netflix yeah anyway she says she just read it has some there's supposedly this messaging in it because yeah. it's based on the book, you know, and the Obamas liked the book, so they produced it. Yeah, Netflix. they produced it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it it is very good. It's very yeah. good. Uh, and uh, let me see here, uh, Charlene Oppenheimer. Hmm. What Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer. Okay. It's on. I think it's on tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you know, it, it, and I so, saw uh, Oppenheimer. Um, how about you, Charlie? Well, I've changed my mind about four times during this discussion. So. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I like Barbie best. <laughs> and I hate, I did not like it. And I was so sad that I didn't like it. You don't <laughs> like Barbie? How could you I, not like Barbie? I just, I was thinking it was going to be something else and i the greatest ending of any movie of the year i know so i felt like i was supposed to have liked it better than i did mm -hmm. and i hated it but i just i just didn't go gaga over it like everybody did well you know what it was is they could have done anything they were wanted to do with barbie and they did the right thing they made it into a fairly smart film yeah you know i didn't think i thought it was going to be lots of fun laughs yeah kind of serious so yeah anyway so uh, I, yeah I, i'm i'm but i'm sorry you didn't like barbie uh, it, was, it was all right yeah uh let me see here a uh, char uh, charlie your favorite movie i just told you that's how this all started barbie barbie yeah okay all right uh, uh, uh okay oh boy <laughs> I hate to ask him. Edward <laughs> Berger, what was your favorite? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Hi, Adrian. How are you? <laughs> I guess you wanted I guess you wanted to make sure she you saw her. Come on. Who can miss her? You know. Well, Happy New Year. She's going Adrian. back to the hotel. Or she's going back to the hotel. I'm the hey, only person. Hi. Hi. He said, how are you doing? It was her. New Year. Oh. oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> anyway, Edward Berger, what was your favorite movie this year? Oppenheimer, even though I didn't see it. What? Well, I haven't seen Oppenheimer. That's why I couldn't see yeah. it. Yeah, it's too long. It's too, It really is. You know, the other picture is too long. The thing that Martin Scorsese did. Uh, 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 the, uh, the flower moon. Some things yeah. on the flower moon. Right. I thought that would be good. Sure. Sure. I thought it was terribly disappointing. Uh, and I didn't like I didn't like Oppenheimer that much, but but and here's the caveat. I then went and watched it again here at home and thought it was terrific. And one of the reasons is I think you should not go to IMAX to see a movie <laughs> because it's too overwhelming. And you're paying too much attention to what's happening. The screen is just like, I don't know, annoying you. And when I watched it at home, I did it with subtitles so I could understand all the dialogue. And boy, I, I thought it was great. I thought it was but, terrific. What were you and Marjorie doing at the movie theater, <laughs> Alex? <laughs> no, it was it was the IMAX. It's just... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that what you used to tell mom and dad, too? What? <laughs> Why I didn't do my homework? What? I, it was too overwhelming. Movies? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, um we'll get to you in a second. Uh, uh, Phil, what movie did you like best this year? You know, Who, I me? haven't did oh, you say no. Phil? What? Did you say yeah, me? Phil. Yeah, oh. Phil. Uh I haven't gone to a movie since COVID. Well, uh, you don't have to go to them. They, they. I haven't want... watched one on. I, oh. I got rid of all of the services, and oh. I'm down to YouTube, and uh, with no commercials, and Prime, and uh, 
basically, I think all I've watched on Prime is Reacher, uh, which is a series. I just, uh, I just watched Reacher. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I, not through, through this season yet, but I did watch Reacher. Yeah. And um, I don't know whether I like it or not. I haven't decided. Did you watch the first uh, but, series of the uh, first year? Yeah. First yeah. season? Yeah. I, 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 okay. Does anybody know what Reacher is? I don't know what it is. Well, they're going to put on a movie next year about he's hanging out somewhere. It's going to be called Reacher Around. <laughs> uh, I had to say that. It's just, it might, it's against the law for me not to. But anyway, so well, I, um, I'm going to keep watching the clock here. I don't want to go past midnight and I missed it. You know, <laughs> set an alarm. You got, you got time. Uh, but anyway, um, 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 but okay. here's the thing. So I watched Reacher, and then I realized it's about a guy who is better. a Marine. Hmm? Is he a Marine, or what is he? Uh, he? I think he was an Army investigator. An Army investigator. Okay. Right. And he's like six foot five, right? Yeah. Huge guy. Uh, big, strapping, you know, can beat the crap out of somebody. When he takes his shirt off, he's got so many six-packs. There are 12 of them, you know, yeah. yeah. And then I found out they made a movie of it. And yeah. Did it star? Tom uh, Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is incapable of playing Jack Reacher. Like five That's a lot of he's did. five. He's five, too. He's the shortest guy in movies. That's why they out. call it acting. All yeah. Right? Oh, boy. See, Alex, the reason why Phil wasn't sure if you called him earlier, because after the surgery, he changed his name to Phyllis. I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, did, did you see any movies this year, uh, Alan? Uh, I am with Charlie Barbie. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you, Tommy Amaguchi? <laughs> <laughs> I only saw one movie this year. <laughs> <laughs> you only saw one movie. Well, then I guess that would have to be it, right? That's it. It's actually the movie that my uh, Quaker friends made uh, called uh, the uh, Movement Rose. and the Man Band uh, about the uh, Andy War Movement, the uh, 1969. Uh -huh. Went to San Francisco and to a, a special filming for it because I was among the funders. So it's a great movie. I, I, I highly recommend it if anyone's interested in the uh, the Andy War Movement. It's just a, a terrific movie. Yeah. Great soundtrack, too. A lot of great music. Well, you know, I remember I was in part, as being part of the anti-war movement at the time, being, I can't remember what year it was, but we were in Times Square, and we were protesting the war. And the police came up to us, and I got kicked in the shins by a cop. Speaking of Times Square. I thought that was Chicago. Oh, so we, can we do that? She's showing... Ooh, we might be oh, shoot. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Alex, was that story about Chicago in 68? What? No. Uh, the kick in the shin. No, that was another thing. I was, uh, but this They're was really after your shins. No, they didn't kick me in the shins in, uh, in Chicago. I, I got out of the way in Chicago. Oh. You know, I, I could run fast enough in those days. Oh, well, we have six minutes. But, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, um, Where's the TV? What happened? Brian. Um, 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 I don't think I saw any movies this year except for one. Did you guys see the movie Strays or see the advertisement? It's a kid's but, picture. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's Colin Farrell and they have a bunch of stuff going on, but they're and Chris Rock and they have these dogs, and but it is the dirtiest movie. <laughs> and I took Adrian to it thinking it was, oh, here we go see this movie. <laughs> and the dogs are dry humping and all this other stuff. And oh, wait a minute. What's the name of this about. again, Brian? Straight. <laughs> that was, what, did you, is it, is it animated though? No, no. It's the dogs, you know, and then, yeah, that they show that they're talking and they see the guy, you know, the, the owners. He goes, wow, he really likes his, his groin thing or whatever he kept calling. Because all he does since they broke up with his wife is, Watch movies and keep playing with his toy thingy. Oh my god, it's really bad. His toy yeah. thingy. Hey, I have another one to interject that we just watched tonight. What? Mag Maggie Moore. 
with John Hamm and Tina Fey. You know, I've seen it on uh, oh. Standing Ground on Hulu, <laughs> and I was thinking about watching it. It's really kind of cute. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, let me see here. Uh, oh, Kevin. Have you gone to the movies this year, Kevin? Kevin? You're on mute. You're muted. Yeah. Yeah? What's up? Mo you, have, you seen, have, have you gone to the movies this year? Is there anything you watched? Uh no, I don't. I haven't gone to the movies. No, you, how about I downloaded. Watching... I downloaded Barbie on the plane or to, to watch on the plane the other day, and then I got on the plane and I sat next to this big burly guy and I really didn't want to put Barbie on my, <laughs> on my, <laughs> my iPad and watch it. You do know you're a big burly guy, right? Yeah, yeah that that's. Well, you know, he didn't want an extra <laughs> hand in his lap under the iPad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I, I was afraid he'd put his hand on my leg or something, you know? Right. Okay, so, now we go up to Canada, and Mike Chisholm. Try... Hey, everybody. I'll try next, on the way back, maybe. Okay, let us I know. I started watching uh, Gran Turismo on the way up. Oh, yeah, I started watching. That's pretty good. Yeah. What was an older up. movie? What was that you watched? Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo. Turismo. The racing thing. Yeah, that's a racing thing. Older... Yeah, that was good. I couldn't hear it exactly. Again? Gran Turismo. Oh, Gran Turismo. Is it good? Yeah. yeah so far, it was I only got about it's an only hour, hour and a half flight, and it's a two and a half hour movie. I think that's yeah. not the I Clint got... Eastwood one, right? No, no, it's no. a racing car. It's Gran thing. Torino. Torino. For a yeah. movie based on a video game, based on a true story, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was and getting it's good. Okay, in your house. Chism. What movie was your favorite movie this year? Uh, far, 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 far and away, uh, across the Spider Verse was by far my, the best movie I saw. In I've the heard that's pretty good. It was incredible. Yeah, it was. It's an animated Spider thing. It's Spider Man, but it's yeah, a, be very good. Yeah, and I mean, as a, as far as a sequel goes, but I mean, just it is an incredible achievement in combining um genres and, and and mediums together it's like a comic book come to life but then better and then the soundtrack is incredible and the story is really good yeah that was my favorite movie and i love the blackberry movie as well that was i got a, a soft spot for the blackberry movie as well blackberry That's yeah a there's a movie about uh I, I i think it might even just be called blackberry i forget but it's the story of the rise and fall of of blackberry and oh yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah it was really good wow yeah. Well, uh, let me see here. Well, my favorite movie, Barbie. Yeah. I think Barbie yeah, well, was. Yeah, three of us that liked Barbie. Yeah. I think Barbie was, I think when you do something that people expect is going to be done in a certain fashion, and you find a different way of doing it and making a lot of political statements along the way, what ostensibly people would think is a kid's picture, which it's not. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. We've got two minutes. I'm going to go upstairs and kiss my wife and come back down. Okay. I'm, I would go kiss mine, but she's out like a log right now. Anyway, what time is it? Uh, are we getting close? Uh, two minutes yeah. to go. we got okay. two minutes to go. Okay. I'm not going to play Old Lang Syne because the last time when I did, I got bumped because uh, it was uh, copywritten or something. That's not in the public domain yet? You know something? I don't know if it is or it isn't, but I'm not taking the chance again because also the other reason is is that we found that when there's copywritten music and you play it on uh, on uh, uh, to a group of people who are watching on uh, uh, Zoom, oh. Zoom makes it so people can't hear it. Mm -hmm. So I figure I, we could sing it. Anybody want to sing it? Yeah. Well, well, anyway, we're getting there. We got, uh, 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 let's see here, 45 seconds to go. All right. And uh, we're, uh, oh, everybody get, yeah, everybody get out your libation. <laughs> Do you have a libation there? Uh, Mine's all gone. Yours is all <laughs> Edward Berger. I, 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 I had a diet Dr. Pepper earlier. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Where, where's Boddicker when you need him? Here we yeah, go. <laughs> 15 seconds. 
lift up his shirt and we can throw beads at him. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going on, let me see here. Uh, oh, uh, 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 five, uh, five, four, uh, three, three, two, two one. Uh, happy, happy New, New, Year, New Year, Year, everybody. Year. Two more hours. Happy New Year. <laughs> hmm, not bad. Which brings me around to our next question. Happy New Year. 2024. New Year. Who thought I'd live this long? Raise your hands. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Can't even kill cockroaches. Oh, I'm spending this one with this one with a toothache. And uh uh I don't know. It, anyway. Yeah, but kids get what? toothaches. Huh? Kids get toothaches. I know, I know. <laughs> He's a kid again. They're still counting down in New York, by the way, on TV. They're still That's counting like, down. Oh, you know what? You you're probably getting it delay. Some way we're yeah. delay. Yeah, the cable delay is it? Yeah. No, it's the if you watch it, if you're if you watch it on one of these things where you're getting all the TV channels on uh, on a like Hulu or a YouTube <laughs> or whatever, then nice. it can do it. Somebody waving. We'll say something. Oh, who do you think's waving, giving attention? Oh, it's oh, it's her. Oh, okay. Who's oh. waving? You know something? She, I, I can't. I just absolutely overwhelms me when I look at her. How much she's grown just yeah. on this show. Yeah, I think she grew. I think she grew like another inch this last couple of weeks or something. She's yeah. oh yeah, my my chest. So she's been just below my chest. Yeah. Now she's above my chest, and she's only eight years old. She's only eight I years like old. the way you reframed the height. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> People on the night remember what I said, and I reframed yeah. something. Oh, well, how tall are you? How tall are you? Five, five, uh, six, I'm six four. Six yeah. four. Very tall. She, yeah, maybe so, she'll wind up being tall. No, yeah. So she's we're starting basketball. She's already a dance queen, so Sutton yeah. gives basketball now too. Yeah. So, so she got to pay for a scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> She saved like, daddy some money. We'll get a GoFundMe yes, page well, going. Well, she's yeah. still she's such a ham. Check it out. What? Somebody's setting off some fireworks. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Welcome to San Jose. Jeez, come to they've San Jose. They've been, been going off for hours here in Arizona. They've been going off for hours. Yeah. yeah. Was they were they setting them off downtown, you think? We started a couple of hours ago here. Yeah. Really? Okay, I know I, 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 I gotta, I gotta go. my neighborhood, but this used this used to really? be uh, fireworks central. Oh yeah, I gotta go. I gotta get ready. Gotta go pick up my friend. Okay, right. bye Happy everybody. New Year, Brian. Thank go you. Go Eagles! I'm still diehard. We're still gonna pull this out. <laughs> I bye. Probably, bye. Probably bye. Next yeah. week anyway. Now he runs. Now you're 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 where, Kevin? You're down in. Uh... Uh, I'm in Phoenix, Glendale. Arizona. Yeah, because your daughter was playing with the Oregon <laughs> band. Yeah, tomorrow. she's playing in the Is Fiesta Bowl tomorrow. Fiesta Bowl yeah. tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. Which when he yeah. said Fiesta Bowl, I thought it was a dish at Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. No, it's actually the VRBO Fiesta Bowl. I thought it was, I thought it was chips. I thought it was a Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. <laughs> it used to be, I think. Yeah, yeah it probably was. <clears throat> <laughs> but it's VRBO now. Anyway, so 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 that that sounds like uh, I you you're probably very proud of her. She's oh, a, yeah. she's a freshman for crying out loud. Yeah, yeah. She was practicing all day today. Yeah. And then they did a performance over at the Phoenix Zoo. They have the Phoenix Zoo lights or something over there. They have a night show, and so they did a performance over there and. They got lights and all that stuff around the zoo, I guess. That sort yeah. of thing. And she's a friend. Went down and south. She's part of the part of the band. The yeah. travels and everything. Yep. Yeah. She, she must play yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, well, I just heard good. some fireworks. I just heard some fireworks. See, you're not alone. Yeah. That was Tony down the street. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're majorly going off at my house. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, here it's like there's a haze out there, and they called it a, a what I guess you call a spare the air day today. Yeah. And 
tonight they've been shooting off fireworks all over we went down to south arizona today to see my friend my boss my old boss down by the border mm-hmm. it's probably right you know, green valley down there and uh we drove back and there was fireworks going off all the way back it's a two-hour drive back to phoenix and there was fireworks going off all the way back and then when we got back here to the hotel there's just this, this smoke haze everywhere so the inversion, I guess, is keeping all the smoke down. There's no way. My roommate wasn't even in Arizona. It's like the Fourth of July. I, I think, I, Mandy, do you have to go? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I was just gonna say Happy New Year. I'm gonna Happy go. Happy New Year to you. Jay. Happy New Year, Mandy. Happy New Year for being with us on Mondays. We won't, we won't be doing a Monday tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm I'm coming back to New York in April. Oh, okay. We'll love to see you. Just got my yeah. tickets today. Okay. So, Y'all have a happy new year. Everybody wave goodbye. Bye. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, oh. What did, did, <laughs> we, did we ask you what your favorite movie was, Mike? Yeah, across the Spider-Verse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll ask another question. Any major predictions for this year? <clears throat> start with start with Charlene. Oh God. <laughs> uh, uh, this is pro- that Trump doesn't win anything and he gets go- put to jail. How's that? That he doesn't win anything. That he doesn't win the, the election and they or throw the him in clean. He will get the nomination, though. You think? Yeah. Yeah. But I hope he doesn't win. Well, I think there are a few people here who agree with you, and maybe one who doesn't. <laughs> uh, well. Yeah. How about you, Charlie? What's your prediction this year? My prediction is the Supreme Court is going to throw out the 14th Amendment, or at least Mm -hmm. say it doesn't apply to Trump. Mm -hmm. So far, two out of uh, out of two talking about Trump. Okay. Uh, Yes, Mr. Berger. What what what's your prediction for something? I say uh, Joe Biden will win the election. What? Joe Biden will win the election. You know the election; it comes in November. Okay, yeah. all so right. He'll win. Yeah. Uh, 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 Phil. Uh, well, world peace. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been waiting a hundred thousand years for it. <laughs> How about you, uh, uh, Alan? I I think the Supreme Court will vote uh, in the Fourteenth Amendment that Trump is not qualified. You really think so? I hope you're right. Well, they they didn't they didn't uh, protect him very well in 2020. So I'm wondering if this if they go to the Supreme Court on this deal. Well, here comes Len Lafrisco, one of our Monday guys. I think. Nice. Let's make sure it's Len. Uh, yeah. uh, well, it doesn't look like it's going to be Len, so I am there. there, is. there, there he is. is okay. All right. Hi, Len. Uh, hey, guy. My question is with the Supreme Court, and we usually don't talk politics that much on these things, but with the Supreme Court, let's say arbitrarily they decide that the 14th Amendment holds and that these states don't have to let him run. Or won't let the right not letting him run because he can't run, so on and so forth. Does that mean that that then says he can't run for president anywhere? Anywhere in the United States. They, if they <laughs> agree with that, in the we're not taking court. him here in Canada. What? And, and, and Russia has their own uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, News item of the uh, uh, any predictions for news items? Uh, where am I? Am I? I, I oh, I, I for next year. Edward Burger. I went with Phil. Okay, Alan. Uh, yeah, that you just heard mine. Mine was the same, opposite of Charlie. Yeah, I, okay. I believe that the Supreme Court does rule against Trump. Okay, all right. Uh, Tom Yamaguchi, your turn. Sure. I predict that this time next year, Mike Johnson will not be Speaker of the House. (laughs) (laughs) 
And actually, I'll pre go ahead and predict that the Democrats will retake the House. Um, but Mike Johnson won't even make it that far. Okay. Uh, uh, Kevin, prediction. Kevin? Tomorrow the sun will come up. <laughs> You'll fart and the sun will come up? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Wait a minute. Did you get that from Annie? <laughs> <laughs> Just probably played by the band. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Uh, you how about you, uh, Mike? Uh, mine is very self-serving. I predict in 2024, David Letterman will come on the Letterman podcast. There you go. That'd be cool. <laughs> Hope so. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Len LaFrisco. Hi, guys. I just want to wish you guys Merry, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> and... Uh, my prediction would be that Donald Trump will die before uh, the election. <laughs> Whoa. It's funny that that's your prediction, because my prediction was going to be that one candidate or another yes. is yeah. going to die before the election. Yeah, I, I would go either way. You're absolutely right. Yeah. 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 Mm. It's, amazing. yeah. It's, it's interesting that you came to that idea. I, I don't I, know why. I don't know why. I was thinking on about it Alan's today, deathbed. and that seemed Alex. to make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, Alex? Yeah, yeah. Nobody Alan's... shoots ex-presidents, do they? On Alan's deathbed, <laughs> his last dying breath, you know what it, You know what he's going to say? Trump. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You didn't ask Phil what his prediction was. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh. I said world peace. Just, oh, just like uh, you know, uh, Miss Universe, or you know. that's not a very good <laughs> prediction, Phil. We, no. Can you, in your lifetime, think of a year where there's totally been world peace everywhere yeah, during Trump's administration? <laughs> 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 hardly, hardly. I got to go back and enjoy my my party for dinner, but I want to wish you guys a very happy New Year. I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Peace and love, Lynn. Bye-bye. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Have a good night. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, so I, I guess that's my other big question. That was it. Uh, but my my question would be to all of you, I guess the next one, is there anything you want to accomplish this year? Mm. Anybody? this time next year what what did yeah. you say i want to survive the year alive okay <laughs> to make it to next year how about you charlene <laughs> that's a good one i like that one <laughs> i'd like to make it through the next year too yeah how about you edward Berger? i'd like to win the mega ball or the, or the, or the power ball one of those well, the what the power ball or the lottery. Lottery. Win the lottery. The power ball. Right. Yeah. What if you if you won it, would you share some of it with the, the people here? Of course. <laughs> of course. Here's your nine dollars. There's your <laughs> nine dollars. <laughs> Don't spend it in one place. That's you, right. Bill, anything you want to accomplish this year? Were you talking to me? I think your name is Phil, isn't it? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Phil, uh, Phil, yeah, get it right. You know, it, it's more a personal goal. Uh, I, I want to now that I'm, I've had this hernia operation. I want to get back in the gym, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to working out and and doing it as perfectly as I can. And, uh, well, uh, can I can I make a suggestion? Don't. Yeah, what's that? Because you got a hernia. Not you, anymore. How do you think you got the hernia? Oh, I had it long before I was lifting weights. Well, what do you think exacerbated it? Him uh, lifting probably gadnet. <laughs> Deadlifting. <laughs> yes. The uh, hernia is still I, there. They just put a... a, a they put a mesh. I used, to do, mesh. I used to do deadlifting. Uh, Jerry Garcia used to come over, and I used to hold him over my head. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, you know, and uh, this year I, I got into vinyl records. So uh, I've been I've been buying vinyl records. I got a new stereo, and uh, well, you're I, buying more things. So you're well, well, no, no, no. Able... He's using his old speakers, though. 
Well, they're from 1967. Nice. Why why vinyl? You know, I I think people are silly about vinyl. Well, it, it's it's a it's this a ceremonial thing about it. You know, you know how the Japanese have a tea uh, service and they and they uh, they pour the tea in a certain way in a certain direction. Well, with vinyl, with the cleaning of the record, the uh, placing it on on the thing, it's just it's just the uh, enjoyable. Then him having somebody knock your arm and have the needles go scra scrambling. Uh, I, I have, I also have a vintage. From then, from then on, the record's unlistenable. Well, it's a vintage turntable, too. So it, it is an autom it's automatic. Well, what you really want to do, if you want to, if you truly want to get into vinyl, mm -hmm. but watch, I get them to spend a lot of money. <laughs> uh, you should get one of those newer turntables, you know. Oh, the USB one? Yeah. Well, USB, but also balanced and you know yeah uh the the turntable i have is a german turntable it's called a dual 1219 mm -hmm. and i guess in 1969 it was the uh, cat's meow and made uh, by radio shack right yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah uh, it's it's really a precision well turntable. vinyl is coming back yeah yeah he's Actually, got a store full of it as as a medium a uh, medium uh it's outsold all of the others including cds and really? uh, and cds are starting to make a uh, resurgence oh thank god charlie we're okay yeah <laughs> i got a whole wall of them here <laughs> yeah i was gonna just look behind me yeah but the monkeys aren't gonna you know <laughs> they're Alvin, you know. Alvin the chipmunk. Uh, uh, monkeys are on lp uh well he likes alvin the chipmunk <laughs> So you really you, you're, you're you're really getting into vinyl. That's good. Yeah, no, Did I'm you? enjoying it. Uh, how much are, how much do vinyl records cost today, though? Yeah. Now they're uh, they're uh, they're not like they used to be. Uh, on average, they're between twenty five and sixty bucks. Holy he just he crap. just bought forty of them off of Facebook or eBay or something. Uh, oh, I bought. They were brand new. It was a hundred and fifty dollars. For eleven albums, uh, Mark Koffler's uh, two thousand. Koffler, uh, it's Koffler. Yeah, nineteen ninety yeah, seven, I think, to two thousand six. Uh, so that was eleven albums, and uh, it's a box set. So you like going through all the thing about dusting it off, and then yeah, yeah. I, I have a zero stat, which gets rid of the dust. You know, it's like a little gun, and you. Uh, uh, you aim it at the uh, record, and it's supposed to um, uh, get rid of the static. Uh. And then I have a carbon fiber brush. You put the record on the turntable, and the, uh, you let it uh, rotate with the carbon brush. Well, you really have nothing to do. Yeah. That's, that, that's <laughs> ever sure. since your ever since your girlfriend moved out, you have nothing to do. <laughs> well, that that was one of the reasons I I I got the uh, new stereo. I'll tell you, the stereo sounds very nice. I've Thank listened you. to it in person. I'm sure it does. It's you very, know, I mean, very it, high. You know, vinyl has certain dynamics that uh, are unprecedented yeah. in any other format. Uh, I'm just saying that it's on. a little easier for me to just click on a digital. Yeah, vinyl. but it's the it's how they make a record, and it's amazing. You know, they press it, and and you're able to get this audio. From a left and a right channel uh, on on something that was pressed, it's just it's just a uh, a medium that uh, is unusual. And then you know you start looking at how early recordings were made uh, through Edison's uh, invention, and uh, even ones earlier than that. Yeah, well, I'm going to do one better than you. I'm going to go all cylinder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember you you had a. When you lived in uh, 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 downtown, you had a uh, a video uh, recorder that uh, uh, played. Uh, it was reel to reel, and you were playing cartoons on it one morning. Um, and uh, you, you remember uh, the place boy. You sometimes had... your friends just remember all the wrong things. Oh, well, <laughs> I had, no, I had a re I had a reel to reel video recorder. That's what they had in those days. Yeah, but it's it have amazing. VCRs. That, that was like what seventy three. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And uh, 
I, I had never seen anything like that. And I thought it was, uh, it was very cool. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, yeah. let me see, Alan, uh, anything you want to accomplish this year? I get the, uh, construction done inside my house. The what? Construction, new shower, new front door, all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, okay. Do you own the place? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the bank and I. What, what do you need a shower for? You never take one. <clears throat> <laughs> and that keeps you from coming over and sniffing my armpits, Bill. <laughs> oh. How about you, uh, 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 Tom? I think probably, if anything, I want to become a more effective climate activist. And, oh, uh, you know, just do more and see see actually if I can actually start meeting with my local representatives, elected representatives to, to discuss climate issues. So if I can get that done the next year, that'd be great. You're probably the, one of the most political people I know. <laughs> you know, and you de do he does get off his ass and do stuff. Occasionally, yeah. <laughs> you don't just, you don't just talk the talk. Yeah. You know. I kept I kept saying somebody said, "What are you going to do when you're not working anymore?" And I said, "Well, you know, there's a there's a food uh bank kitchen the street, you mm -hmm. know, free food." Then maybe I'll go volunteer there. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that was a good thought, <laughs> you know. So that shows you how much I'm vested in things like that. But food banks are very important. I know. Yeah. My daughter was a director of our local food pantry for a number of years. She just quit it to take a different job. But uh, yeah, people just loved the work that she was doing there. That's the uh, Berkeley Food Pantry at the Berkeley Friends Church. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did a lot of great work. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, are you awake, Kevin? What are, yeah. Yeah. What do you want to accomplish? Anything you want to accomplish this year? Yeah, I want to get my truck done eventually. Get your what? Are your truck done? Yep. Okay. I'm working how on it. You, how, about you, frame on it. how about you, Mike Chisholm? Uh, well, I know certainly tonight I've been inspired uh, that in 2024, I'm going to revert back to eight track. That's going to be great. <laughs> um, no, I, I agree with you, Phil, by the way, the ceremonial thing. And also uh, for, for vinyl, the artwork, it's unparalleled. Yes. Like when you get when you get uh, an album and you want to listen to an LP and you go through and see the words and the booklets that come with them and all of that, I, I totally agree with you. Uh, this year for me, Alex is a uh, flat out. It's 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 a uh, career change, for sure. Career. You have change. a future in floor covering sales. <laughs> <laughs> you can even touch the vinyl. He needs an international brand. What what, what what do you want to change to? Yeah, I wanna I wanna somehow uh, get into this. Uh, this podcasting world, this entertainment world somehow, uh, whether it's for pants or for whoever it is, I think 24 can be a year that I could maybe make the move over. I think, uh, I think it could happen. So that's, 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 that's my goal this year. Well, having been in it for how many years now, I can tell you, don't do it. I know, man. I know. <laughs> no, it's Those... really, it's, especially today, it's a waste of time. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it, just I can't ask Jack Bishop. What? Just ask Jack Bishop about a waste of time. You know, there there are many, they're not many, but there are people that are have standout podcasts with uh with big followings. And it's it's kind of like being an NFL uh player. Yeah, but, only... but you have to look at what they are, and it's it, it, it to begin with, they have the backing of say a network, uh, yeah, television yeah. network. And whatever like bill maher they I... promoted through you know mm -hmm. yeah uh, so you know a little guy like me is never going to get that kind of uh of, yeah uh, i understand i i listen to jay leno bill maher a few others you know joe rogan yeah no, I, I haven't started listening to him yet but i may but what have we really done you know podcasting has not become anything different just that all these people moved to what they were doing over to podcast. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's just more convenient for the that. listeners. Uh, because uh, it's you asked me about movies earlier. And, you know, what happens is if I watch a movie, 
I watch 20 minutes, I, I break away, I look at something else. If you go to the theater, you're kind of forced to watch the whole hour and a half uh, in, in one sitting. And what podcasts are doing is they're allowing you to choose your content and watch as much as you want or eat as much as you want, and then you can come back for more. Uh, and I think that's, that's but, the way you know, there's, people there's are. Too, you know, there's too much of it. You know, uh, yeah, it, there's six million right, podcasts right now. Six million. Six million. Yeah. Six million. I think it's wow. larger, larger than that. It might be. That was a few well, months I ago. I think I heard something like 30 million. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. You know, so, so, you know, uh, so, so maybe you're getting a thousand people to listen to your podcast. Mm -hmm. You're nobody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you're nobody. Until somebody loves you. Yeah. <laughs> So you know it it's uh, it, but uh, that's a, you know give it a go if that that's what floats your boat. But you know I I think show business at this point I would not recommend it to anybody. Yeah, and and for me it's not even so much just becoming a personality and getting out there and doing it. It's it's becoming part of something bigger. Um, and it's not just with with Letterman stuff, although that is a huge, huge, huge one. I mean that's shooting the moon. My wife is building her men's mental wellness app and we think it's going to pop in 24. Yeah. And I already host the he cast. I host that podcast as well. And so, um, you know, the career change isn't just necessarily going out and becoming a personality. There's a lot of other moving parts, both on the Letterman side and on he changed its side. Well, as well, I'll tell you something, I, you know, and I'm not saying I, and you know, I, I am a big fan of Letterman. Absolutely. And all yep. of that, but <sighs> Letterman barely exists anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, people mm -hmm. people ha have gone on. Sure. And, and uh, what public appearances he makes aren't that terrific. All right. And I just think that most people don't care about David Letterman any longer. Is he still on the air? No. Yeah, on Netflix he is. Yes. Yeah, uh, on, he's got a reruns. No, yeah, no, no. He's, he's got a show on Netflix on, called very, My Next he, he, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. Oh, yeah, but he's barely um, on Netflix. Yeah, right. he puts out like 12 of those a year, I think. I don't think he's even true. doing them every year now. Yeah. Well, he just filmed a bunch. He's got a he's actually got a pretty busy 2024, but I hear where you're coming from. He did he did the one with uh, the uh, president of the U of Ukraine. That was last year. He did and YouTube. It was terrible. Oh. It was just terrible. Uh, that was be, uh, what, what's, what, what's it? It was not within his abilities. He should have stayed away from that. You the know? president or, or Letterman? Oh, Letterman. Oh. Letterman seemed very uncomfortable, ill at ease. You know, all I'm saying is, is that people, once you no longer have a week, a daily show, they forget you. You know, mm -hmm. they move on to other stuff. And that's the problem. You know, his YouTube numbers are pretty pretty solid. Not um, really. I've looked at them. Let me put it this way. They're solid by within a certain area. But when sure. you compare him to the 15-year-old Ukrainian violinist, this girl <laughs> who busks in the street, who gets Three million, four million views per video. Yep. Yep. Letterman's not getting yep. anywhere near that. No, I, I'm more saying the consistent dailies that go into the 30, 40,000 range and they're putting your videos out every single that's, day. That's nothing. That's nothing. Uh, in, in, it's YouTube money, though. They're, they're, they're profitable. YouTube money? Uh, they're profitable with that you, channel for sure. You, you got to hit a million before you make $4,000. Okay. Now you. we know how you're so wealthy, Alex. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah, a ramble. I mean, I get checks from from YouTube, but you know, not not that. This not substantial this girl. No. This girl has is worth now five million dollars. Yep. So absolutely it's good. When you compare it to that. It's just, you know, ridiculous. Hey, listen, looks like time is up. 
We spent a New Year's together. Yep. Is it New Year's or New Year? Well, it's New Year's because it's the day. New Year. New, new Year's Day, but it's Happy New Year. Depends yeah, new if you're in year. New Yorker or not. It's New Year's oh, in New York. Lord. But anyway, thank you so much, Charlene, for being here. I appreciate it, you know. And uh, my tooth is finally starting to bother me. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Charlie. I appreciate you being here. I want to thank Mandy for being here. I want to thank Brian for being here. Is anybody else here that left? Len? Len? Uh, who? Len LaFrisco. Len LaFrisco. Oh, Len LaFrisco, yeah. From, from San Francisco, uh, by the way. Good to see you, Phil. Glad to see you're up and about and feeling good. And yeah, yeah, thank you. Nice to spend New Year with you. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you. Of course, uh, Alan, nice to have you here. It's kind thank of a you. combination of people from the yeah. Monday show and the nighttime show. Tom Yamaguchi, always a thrill to see you. Kevin, you look beat and tired. And what it's happened? Not, and it's not even midnight where you are. <laughs> But did he drive nice four night. hours today? Huh? And I thought he course, drove four uh, hours. Mike Chisholm, always great to see you here. Get our Peace and love from Canada, everybody. Thank you. Representation from Canada. And uh, I guess uh, I'm, I'm seeing that picture of Shecky. That's, that's probably the worst thing that's happened to me this year. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, uh, there is a By the way, that was a good interview that again. Mike did of you. What did you say? And by the way, that was a good interview that Mike did of you. That oh. was a great episode with you on, yes, on our show. You. I watched that the other night, and that was great. Yeah. Anyway, that's it uh, for tonight. And uh, we won't be doing a show tomorrow on Monday, but we'll see you back here on uh, on uh, on Wednesday as I slog it out. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, everybody, we can be, oh, we, by the way, we have a tradition. And we got to do the tradition because it is our good friend, Edward Berger, who signs us off by saying, That's all, folks. <laughs> that, that voice is perfect. Thanks, everybody. Have a happy new year. All happy right? new year, everybody. Happy new year. Happy new year.